So what's going on guys, Special with Dry Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the very first for this channel, the Rinke case. So this is the Rinke AirPods Pro case in clear matte. So this is actually a clear case with a matte texture. So this fulfills three of the main criteria which I'm looking for in my next AirPod case which is basically this case. So currently I'm actually rocking the Spigen Rugged Armor and of course I do have the limited edition AirPods Pro and this case basically covers it up so I wanted to expose the logo because that's the only difference between the regular AirPods and the AirPods Pro limited edition so that's the reason I went online looking for the perfect almost the perfect clear case so there are many clear cases out there in fact many cases so many of the clear cases are basically generic brand cases or even there are some like branded ones from Unique and stuff but the ones I've tried from Unique doesn't really make it into my list because of the way the top portion of this uh, case is designed so the Unique AirPods Pro case doesn't allow me to open the lid fully the Spigen one actually has been really good as it served me like a year around a year uh, but the top layer has started to come off so you can see right here it doesn't stick anymore this has been transferred off from my previous AirPods Pro to this AirPods Pro because this is actually my third or fourth pair of AirPods Pro already and I've used this from the previous one and transferred it over to the limited edition one but yes it's starting to come off maybe because of the gum that they have inside the, the top portion so I'm really excited to check this out I've used Rinke products uh, back then when during the Nexus days and I've actually stop using them for a while because I was trying out like other brands out of the box like life proof and stuff like that so that's why I didn't have any Rinke cases so far on this channel but I would have some Rinke cases because I think Rinke cases are pretty worth it especially at the, at the price this costs around uh, 40 ringgit I guess around that which is a uh, pretty good I mean not the cheapest AirPods Pro case, of course, Basis sells like what 19 ringgit cases. But uh, considering the quality and the protection that this offers, it's a pretty good contender in the AirPods Pro market. Alright, so before we begin the unboxing and review of the AirPods Pro case, uh, sub to the channel would definitely be awesome. And also ding that notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing and installation of the Rinke AirPods Pro case. Alright guys, so we are back and you can see right here I have the Ringgit AirPods Pro case. So let's take a look at the box itself. So you can see how the case looks. Of course, there's a QR code right there. You can see it's in matte clear. You can see the side profile of the case. And on the back, you can see the package contents. Of course, you get the case itself. You get the charging port opening. And then you get a small carabiner. And then you get some protective stickers. So I'm interested to see what the protective sticker will look like. So there's a body for the packaging let's take a look at it and see what comes in the box all right so this shows that this original product and then you get the installation instructions how to install and charging and stuff like that and then we have the stickers so these are the protective stickers let me get that to focus so these are the protective stickers i'm not sure whether i'll be using that but i guess you do have to use that all right so taking the case itself comes in three parts so you get the top portion right here very nice texture very good quality as well all right then you get two bottom pieces a front and a back so this uh, the design of the case basically feels like the Rinkit Onyx the new Rinkit Onyx for the iPhone 12 series where they have the four bumpers at the back very similar design right here As you can see right here this is where the loop goes uh, inside is uh, glossy but on the outside is matte so I guess it will look pretty good you can see right here on the limited edition AirPods Pro so you can see Renke branding fun as well so very nice uh, I expected it to be two pieces but it's in three pieces right guys so the instruction shows that you have to put the two long pieces on the front and then on the top is this uh, short piece it's two short pieces and then we have the corners and yeah basically just installing the case after that all right guys so finally i got it installed it wasn't the easiest thing it took me about approximately the five to ten minutes to actually get everything stuck on so let me give you a close look let me show you so there is one at the each corner in fact if you have ever used the Rinke dual easy it's actually the same material it's a matte version of the Rinke dual easy and means it's like basically like a soft TPU style protector. There's one on the front, one on the back, and one at the top, 
and one at the bottom not the nicest installation but i guess the bubbles will go away within 24 hours all right so let's get the case installed finally let's do the bottom portion first so definitely the ring cape branding goes in front so we do the front portion in okay, with the ring cape branding and then the back one goes in but it should snap on simple and easy Right, so the bottom portion installed is basically a two-piece snap-on. Very easy to install. Let's hope it stays on. Alright, so that's the bottom portion. Alright, let's uh, install the top portion. It should be as simple as just slotting it in. Alright, so according to instructions, I should be installing some sort of adhesive on the top, but apparently it doesn't come in the box because I've definitely not missed anything out because I double-checked the box. So no adhesive. So I guess I got to deal with that kind of strange but uh, I guess it is what it is let me try to fit in the top portion so far seems snug seems snug but uh, it's definitely missing out something I would definitely have to contact Rinky support for this but anyways I'm actually very very happy with this case to be honest uh, the cutouts are very precise let me get a closer focus on this cutouts are very very precise logo in front can be visible even the light as well you can see the limited edition airpods pro and the top you can see these guards when you do drop it to protect your airpods see the back right here i think i did install it backwards because it's supposed to be for the light so definitely i do have to take this off let's see how easy or difficult it is to take it off right i guess it is pretty difficult so i'll do that off cam but i messed up definitely all right so basically what do i think about this case I can definitely recommend the Rinke AirPods Pro case because I think it is uh, tough. It feels tough, it feels solid. The construction, the, the whole build of the case is uh, something I would recommend uh, if you compare with many other cases. I think this is one of the better AirPods Pro case in the market. All right, so this retails for around 45 ringgit, I believe. I'll leave the links in the description below if you do want to purchase this. And also, do give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And that's about it for this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one where I review the Catalyst waterproof case for the iPhone 12 Pro. So do stick around for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.